guys, this is Liam Resnikov here from Fiji One Gym with three quarters of the village people. Now we're here with a very <laughs> we're here with a very important video. So you guys probably saw on the news recently that um, one of your right favors guys broke his neck. Um, and um, there's something I want to go over that I think is very important for teachers and students before people get a little bit hysterical. And look, it, it, look, wrestling and jiu-jitsu has its you know potential dangers. But one thing I want people to understand is um, that a lot of the time in, the injuries can be avoided. Now, I haven't seen the video of the actual injury or how it happened, so I'm not saying this is how it happened with that guy, but there was a fighter named um, Zach, I forget his last name, but he was the first guy in MMA to break his neck and he's paralyzed. And um, how it happened is very, it's very easy to avoid. Now, how a chiropractor and how a learned chiropractor school that how a neck can break is that it's, a neck can break if you turn it this way too far, but it's unlikely. Same if you're going up and down, of course it causes damage. Okay, do you want to have a, on a long date with me? Okay, so, what how it breaks is, it has to combine two different movements on two different planes, pushing down, pulling up, and rotation in order to break. So, um, a trend in MMA lately has been that a lot of the MMA fighters are shooting, and they're trying to counter the sprawl by taking the legs a different way, as if they're going for a basket. So if I've got Marcus here for, uh, actually I've borrowed things, but, if I've got a single leg here, a lot of the guys are switching for a basket. They're coming in here and going for a basket, which is fine. There's no problem with that, okay? Now, if Dean had my head under his armpit here, and I kept driving, you can imagine Dean's body's going to fall this way. My neck is going to twist up and in a circle on two different planes. So that's not how the injury happened in that fight where the guy broke his neck. How it actually happened was a lot of the fighters, and similar to how GSP shoots, they've been shooting, and then instead of taking the legs, in the same way that they normally do it when they learn, so away from the pressure of the ear, like this, and throwing it to the side, they're taking it the other way in order to finish. Now, if a guy has a guillotine grip, it's going to create that pressure on the two different planes and put your neck under, uh, you know, a lot of stress. So, Marcus is just going to demonstrate a normal. Just uh, we don't have a lot of space today, so he's just going to shoot slowly. He grabs the guy's legs. Okay, he's going to drive him this way, so away from the head, and just throw his legs to the side and finish. Okay, it's very simple being nice, whatever. Okay, so that's a safe way to shoot a double. Now, everyone's getting scared that guillotines can break your neck, okay? So, Dean puts Marcus in a guillotine, very, I uh, just, just put him in a guillotine, slowly, okay? Nice, now Marcus finds himself in a guillotine. It's perfectly safe, okay, to take his legs, drive him away from the head, and take him down and end up in side control. It's very little risk of injury, okay? They, you know, you can get injured. The same thing goes with a single leg. He grabs him in a guillotine. Marcus grabs the far leg. There's very, very little risk of injury. If Marcus picks him up and slams him, he's going to land on top of Dean and his neck will be nice and safe. Now, this is where the problem occurs. Okay, so this time Marcus, let's do the single leg example or double leg. Okay, it doesn't make a difference. He grabs him, he gets the guillotine, and Marcus decides to elevate him, lifts him up. Okay, uh, let's do a, let's do, yeah, let's do double leg for a moment. So he just picks a double leg up. Good. Nice. Now, instead of throwing him away from his head, he's going to throw him this way. And Marcus's head is going to go into the ground, and Dean's pressure is going to pull his neck up and over, which causes a lot of damage. Same goes for a single leg. Now, a lot of guys have been doing this in MMA lately with strong necks, but it's bloody dangerous. So Marcus is here, and he grabs a single leg with the head on the outside, okay, instead of the inside, which is one of the tips that we give in our you know, MMA uh, training course is that you never put your head on the outside of a single. Now, he's just going to lift him up, just lift him up gently. Marcus has a bad neck, coincidentally. Nice. Now he decides, instead of slamming him the safe way, which is away from his head, he slams Dean this way. Now, what's going to happen if we turn around? Can you hold him up for me? Is it hurting your neck? Okay. If he goes this way, look, the pressure is going to go this way and up, and Marcus is going to land on his head with Dean's full body weight pulling across his neck. Uh, drop him and stay in the same position. Nice. Uh, move away, Dean. So. <laughs> Standing up. This looks weird. Okay, so Marcus is going to be here. Arm, Dean's arm is here. He's going to drop him with his full body weight here, pushing this way and up, and his body dropping over the top. And you can imagine what that's going to do to the vertebrae. So very important, guys, a safety tip. If you get your head caught under the armpit, you always have to take the guy this way. Okay, double leg, finish on the far side control. If I have a single leg and my head's this way, just be very, very careful if you're going to lift and slam it. You always want to go for the far leg here so that you end up on the far side of the body. The worst thing you can do is here, lift and throw the guy towards your head. So guys, hopefully that tip um, should be emphasized in your school already. 
But you're seeing a trend of MMA fighters doing that, and although it's effective because it's tricky, it's bloody dangerous for people's necks. So please take care of that, and you know, don't get too crazy and hysterical about guillotines and double legs. Just make sure you're doing them right and safe.